Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss how do you get Tn in a geometric form. But before you do this, you have to be familiar with solving for exponents when the power is an unknown and it is an odd or unusual number. If you are not familiar with the log concept in solving for exponents, then you need to look at the financial video. We are going to do a quick recap to refresh in your memory. If we are given 7 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now we know 7 is not even a multiple of 2. So what we do is we put a log on both sides. So we have log 7 is equal to log 2 to the power of x. We then bring our x to the front. So we have x log 2 is equal to log 7. We now want to get x alone. So we divide by log 2 and what you do on one side, you do on the other side. So we're going to divide the other side by log 2. At this stage, you now use your calculator and you can solve for x. Right, we will use this concept when we are solving for Tn in a given sequence, but more specifically a geometric sequence. Let's take the following example. Right, it says determine which term in the sequence is equal to 583,86. Now you must be careful. Do you understand the difference between Tn and N? Now Tn usually refers to the value and N is the number it stands in the line. We know we are working with geometric. Remember, you would only know that if you had done the test. So when you got this equation, the very first thing you should have done was the test. That is out of habit. And we won't repeat that, but you should know, okay, I'm going to do the test, and now I know it's geometric, so I'm going to use an R. Now, determine which term in the following sequence is equal to 583,86. Now, we have that A is equal to 2. R is 3 over 2. Term 2 divided by term 1. We don't have N, but we have TN. It's 583,86. Once you fill in all the things you need, you go to the formula. Tn is equal to A times R to the power of N minus 1. Fill in all the information. 583,86 is equal to A is 2. R is 3 over 2 to the power of n minus 1. Now, be careful with your algebra at this stage. This is where pupils start doing silly things, like they combine 2 and 3 over 2. So they end up making it 3 to the power of n minus 1. This is absolutely incorrect. Right, what you need to do is the algebra says get the unknown alone. First, we are going to divide by 2. So we have 3 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 291,93. Now look at what we have. We have an exponent that is an unknown, but it is a number that we can just we, we can't just solve like that. We can't see an answer as quickly. So the method to use is the same method that we would have used at this stage, the logs. So we're going to put a log on both sides. So I have log 291,93 is equal to log 3 over 2 to the power of n minus 1. The power moves in front. The entire power moves in front. So we now have log 291,93 is equal to n minus 1 log 3 over 2. Divide 
by log 3 over 2. So we can get our unknown alone. Divide by log 3 over 2. And we now have that n minus 1 is equal to 14. But we don't want n minus 1. We want n. So using your solve for x rules, we're going to bring our 1 over. And then we have n is equal to 15. Thank you for watching.